Welcome to another video from the studios of Raglan Electric Bikes. Here we're talking about brake cuts. So electric bikes, generally, they help you when you pedal and they stop when you stop pedaling. However, sometimes, I don't know, you might have a little funny situation such as there, the pedal keeps being brought round and so the motor hasn't stopped. Most kits and bikes come with something that senses the brake being pulled and I'm sure you heard that even though I pulled the front brake that stopped the motor. Now the kits I sell these wonderful BBS O2s they come with brake levers with built-in cutouts so here you go here is one and you see that that's the brake cable this is the electrical connection which lets the motor know that you've pulled the brakes. Now that works great for cable brakes. Cable brakes where you have nothing else on the brake lever. For hydraulic brakes, such as you find on this wonderful, wonderful bike, you've got a bit more of a problem because you can't put that onto the, you can't put the lever that comes with the kit on here. So what you do instead is either ride it like this bike here where I have it set to no pedal assist and just ride it on the throttle. Might explain the second throttle in another video but let's stick to the point. So just ride it on the throttle so as soon as you let go of that throttle it's not running. Um, there's no pedal assist on this bike. I ride it almost like a mini motorbike. I really like the control and the feel. The other option, let's go up in terms of price. So easiest, do nothing. Second easiest, this is if you've got hydraulic brakes or brakes that are not compatible with the brake levers that come in the kit, is to buy a magnetic cutoff kit, which is what we have here. So you have this thing here, which is called a hall sensor, and a hall sensor measures magnetic field. So it knows when a magnet is nearby. So as well as your hall sensor, you have a teeny, teeny, tiny little magnet or two, and you stick the hall sensor onto the brake lever, and you put the magnet onto, sorry, you put the hall sensor onto the brake body, and you put the magnet onto, God, I can't get my fingers around it, onto the lever, such that when you pull the brake, so if you imagine that there, here, I wish I had three hands, and the magnet there, then when you pull, when you pull the brake, you get this gap opening up. And so, oh dear, we call that a failed demo, but I think you understand what I'm saying. Sensor on the fixed bit, magnet on the moving bit, and then the bike can sense that you're pulling the brakes. To stick those on, you are going to need some kind of epoxy araldite. I use the Knead-It stuff that you buy in a tube from places like Bunnings. Other hardware stores are available. So that is make your own adapter. Sometimes it's really hard to work out where, where to put it on the lever because sometimes you don't have very much movement at all or you don't have, you don't have anywhere good to put it. Like on this one, I think you could easily put it, glue the sensor just to this bit here, and then glue the magnet to that little bit there, so that bike wouldn't be hard. I don't have any in the workshop at the moment, you wouldn't believe, that look terribly difficult, so I can't really demonstrate one that doesn't work. But you need sort of that five mil movement. If that doesn't float your boat, or if um, you want better brakes anyway, you can buy ones that are made for it. So this here is a set of Tektro Zurich which are crazy good. They have four pistons, so there's two pistons over here, two pistons over here, 
and as well as having that they have a little sensor built in to the to the, the thing this is from factory so with this one if I get it going ah, it's turned itself off turn it on again so there hydraulics and they know what they're doing that's a fairly expensive option um, and also quite a long lead time because there's not much demand for it in New Zealand so I don't hold stock. I can get it but I've got to wait for it to arrive from overseas. Then there is this one here, this is another one that I can get from overseas. It's a set of Shimano hydraulics, fairly generic hydraulics, M535s but Shimano don't seem to make bad hydraulic brakes, you know. I, I really like my Shimanos. These ones have been modified so they're not factory but they've been very nicely done down in the gap there if it would focus on it there has been glued a little tiny little micro switch so as you pull that pull that lever and it cuts so there you go options how to stop the bike simplest run it on the throttle don't have any brake cuts Equal simplest, slightly more complicated for cable brakes. Use the supplied levers with the sensors. Next is modify. I haven't got an example of a modified one in here at the moment. Um, with these sensors here. So a sensor and a magnet that you've got to stick on with something like need it epoxy. And then the fanciest option is to go for something already modified, so your factory Tektros or your professionally done Shimanos. And let's go for it on a scale of cost. Zero, some time, no dollars. Sensor, about 25, 30 bucks. And then new brakes. They're on a par with other new brakes, you know, you're talking a couple of hundred dollars for some hydraulics. Um, I think that is all you need to hear from me for today. So I'll shut up and get this thing uploaded to YouTube. If I've made any obvious mistakes or if you've got any more questions, feel free to get online at raglanelectricbikes.co.nz and ask me a question directly there. There's um, obviously a contact form, this being a website, of the um, pre-Facebook days. days. Um, ask me a question on YouTube if you want. I'm really not very good at checking them. I try, but I have a lot of things that I do in my life. So yeah, sometimes they don't get ahead. But emails to Raglan Electric Bikes or via the Raglan Electric Bikes website are all good. Alrighty, thank you for watching. Have a nice day.